Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast. And last week, we released the Commander Collection Green. But what is this product, why does it exist, and what can you find inside of it? Well, let's dig in today. There are many reasons why a product might come into existence. But one that happens sometimes is when another team at Wizards asks us to create a product to help out with whatever it is they're working on. And in this case, it was the WPN and trade teams asking us for a product to help support our local game stores. Local game stores are really the lifeblood of Magic, and we like to make sure there are products that are exclusive to just those stores. For example, earlier in the year we saw Mystery Booster Retail version come out, as well as Signature Spellbook Chandra, two products that were exclusive just to game stores. These products do a couple really important things. The first thing is they bring people into that game store who might not normally go into that game store, and by coming in once, maybe they'll come back again. The second one is that these are products which normally just fly off the shelves, which really helps support that game store. So we looked at some other products for inspiration. And of course, a natural one to look at was Signature Spellbook. We liked a lot of what that was doing, but thought we could do another one focused on Commander. But instead of being focused around a Planeswalker, these would be focused around a color, which really let us dig into some things that we couldn't do. For example, when you're making Signature Spellbook Chandra, you can't put Lightning Bolt in there. Why? Because Chandra wouldn't cast Lightning Bolt. That's a lightning spell, not a fire spell. But with Commander Collection, we could put almost anything we felt fit the color inside of this box. Another really cool thing we could do is instead of the art being focused all around a single Planeswalker, we can make the art here about a variety of different legendary creatures. And finally, we know that Commander players need reprints for their decks. And so this is a way to get some more copies of these cards out into the world. Now, Ari Nye was the lead designer for this product and him and I worked together to select the eight cards for this box. Here they are, and a little bit about why they're included. One of the cool things about Commander Collection Green is that every card in the product got brand new artwork. So this was a great chance to reface some cards which had never had new art, like Seedborn Muse. And this Seedborn Muse is set on Kamigawa, so near and dear to my heart, and it's a very subtle nod to Azusa, Lost But Seeking. Check out the little pattern at the top of the Seedborn Muse's head. Well, you'll find that same pattern on Azusa. Tutors are cornerstones of Commander, and believe it or not, Worldly Tutor has never had a foil printing. Well, until now. And on the art there, you will see Yisan, the Wanderer Bard, playing that tune. Another card was Bane of Progress. The art here is a very, very subtle nod to Titania. Look at the leaf patterns and you'll see the similarities. Next up, I want to talk about Soul Ring and Command Tower. These are two cards that go into the vast majority of Commander decks. Now we've seen promo versions of these cards, like the Judge promos or the Magic Fest promo, be extremely popular. So we thought it would be fun to create some color aligned versions so players could customize their decks with these special ones. And so with every Commander collection going forward, our plan is to do another Command Tower and Soul Ring for each color. Next up is Freilies. We talked about a lot of different options for this spot, but kept coming back to Freilies for two big reasons. The first is she hasn't been reprinted very much. The second is she's very hard to reprint. She's both a planeswalker that can be your commander, which doesn't go everywhere, and she's a dead story character. Mono Green Omnath has been a staple of commander for a very long time, and it seemed like a slam dunk to include here. And finally, we have Sylvan Library. This is perhaps the green card that is most requested to me by commander players to reprint, and I'm so glad we could put it here. Fun fact, the art depicts Reki, the history of Kamigawa, who is a living library of all the history of that plane. Now, one more popular question I want to answer before going. With Commander Collection now in the mix, what does that mean for the future of Signature Spellbook? Well, I can say that in 2021, there will not be a Signature Spellbook, but that does not necessarily preclude us from doing more Spellbooks in the future. Thank you so much for watching today, and now I'd love to know, for the other four colors, what are cards you would love to see included in those Commander Collections? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk with you again on Wednesday. And in the meantime, may you have a lot of fun with your favorite green carts. You got this. Today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drawing an island. And I know a lot of you are probably used to drawing islands at home, but this is gonna be a little bit of a different island. It's not one you're drawing from your deck. We're actually gonna draw the picture on this easel. So I'm gonna show all the colors you're gonna need for today on the screen down below. So that should let you know all the different wonderful little shapes and uh, colors you should go buy from your, your local store. Okay, we're gonna start off with